So I get it, I'm not the best writer in town. In fact, I'm pretty average, pretty lame if you compare me to top-notch pros and my other buddies. You know, so before we begin this review, I just would like, to, like you guys to know that this review is designed for average writers like myself. See, I'm not fast, I'm not a pro, I'm not an aggressive writer, or at least not yet. I try to be, but you know, sometimes uh, that doesn't always work out as planned. But, to be honest, more than anything, I'm really just a lugger wanting to explore. Sure, I have a TE250i, but I bought this so I can actually grow into it. Say, three to four years down the road, you know, I still have this bike. I don't have to look for another one. So this review will be based off an average rider, beginner, intermediate-ish, whatever, just beginning single track type ride. Or eh, Hopefully that makes sense. You know, this bike is great and all, but keep in mind I usually take this TE250i in places above 10k feet, and I also weigh 220 pounds, so that is something to consider. I also switched to a 1353 sprocket because I felt there was not enough low end on really steep single track. Quite often than not, I had to clutch quite a bit when I was lugging around at lower speeds when it got very technical and steep. Honestly, like any old two-stroke, when it sings, it definitely goes. It does rev up fast, and it does have a linear power delivery. But I noticed there is less of a punch compared to the uh, carbureted version. But also, does not flame out as easy, so that is definitely a plus. What do I really think about this bike, me being a lugger and somewhat of a new rider? Well, to me, I felt like the power is controllable without a doubt, but I do crave some bottom end when I lug around on second gear, when there is a combination of technical and steepness. However, say I was a very aggressive fast rider, this bike might favor them, or me if I was an aggressive rider. It spins up faster than the uh, 300 while, to be honest, if I could have done it all over again, I would have gone with the 300 TPI. However, once I find myself becoming pretty throttle happy, the TE250i becomes fun, powerful, and exciting. So far, I have close to 70 hours on it and have not really had a single problem with the TE250i other than the dash not working. But that was a fix under warranty, so no problems there. You know, the TPI, the TPI is awesome because I don't have to worry too much about adjusting the mixture, the, the jetting, no mixing as well with gas. Uh, but to be honest, it is probably just as much labor and time as mixing in oil with gas on a standard container. However, it does shine when you do long distances and you need that buddy's extra spare of fuel. So what do I have to say about the TE250i to newish riders looking for a bike to grow in, or maybe an average rider, and never have to worry about buying another bike? One, the TPI is great. No need to mess with any fueling or elevation changes, you know, with the air screw and all that stuff. But if you know you're gonna be a lugger, you know, and gonna do really technical, slow type of riding, I think I would've reconsidered to the TPI 300. However, you know, hair scrambles and you just really need that quick rev, TE250i without a doubt. Now, oddly enough, the 300 feels just a little bit heavier, but not much of a difference. But overall, this bike is really great. You know, in a way, I believe it kind of makes you a better rider because you're learning how to keep it in the revs a little bit more. So when that turn is coming up, you can, you know, you don't want to back down because, you know, you're going to lose some power and it doesn't have that much low end grunt. So you're going to want to take that turn always on the throttle. So in essence, it might be better for your riding as well. 